Hello friends, yes, it's that time again, the time to take a look at the things that make you go, hmm. Updating from yesterday, more Samuragachi news broke today that makes the story go from crazy to downright weird. Now the Ghost Rider, 43 year old Takahashi Nagaki, has come forward to unravel the mystery and reveal even more surprising facts about the bizarre situation. Nagaki explained during a recent media conference attended by the New York Times that not only was Samaragaki not deaf, but he had threatened to take his own life if Nagaki exposed him for what he was. He told me that if I didn't write songs for him, he'd commit suicide, Nagaki said. He decided to come forward, however, because the arrangement Sonatina for a Violin will be used by Japanese figure skater Daisaku Takahashi this month during the Sochi Winter Olympics. I could not bear the thought that skater Takahashi being seen by the world as a co-conspirator in our crime, Nagaki said. Though he does not have definite proof, Nagaki said he doesn't think Samaragachi is actually deaf. Nagaki said he had regular conversations with Samaragachi, who was able to listen and comment on Nagaki's compositions. Nagaki said Samaragachi's reported deafness was only an act that he was performing to the outside world. Okay, this story has officially gone over the edge and picked up a life of its own. It's like a freight train going faster and faster down the tracks, barreling forward, and it can't stop. Especially with these new allegations that not only is Samaragachi not writing his own music, but he's possibly faking his deafness, and he's threatened to commit suicide if it's revealed. Could it get any crazier than this? I don't know. I seriously don't know what to think. Yes, we've managed to leave the Millie Vanilli zone, but now we're barreling straight down Jerry Springer Drive. And I can just imagine, over the next couple of days, opening up another news story that claims that not only was this going on, but there's some kind of government conspiracy involved. Or even that some past lovers have come out with even more incriminating evidence of terrible acts. It's just that bad. And then of course, there's the timing. Yes, I understand that you wanted to get the truth off your chest and you really needed to come out with this, but now, just as the Olympics were starting, couldn't you have waited a little while? This thing's just turning into a royal mess. As always, we'll keep our eyes open and see what happens next. That's all for now. Peace out.